Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? I hope everyone's having a good Sunday or good Monday morning, depending on when you see this video. Uh, I'm sure you all know I've been playing a lot of Mafia 2 on PC, and for the right reasons, because to me personally, playing this game on the PC, if you have a semi-decent PC, I think you are going to be appreciating this game in 4K 60 uh, frames per second much better. I currently am playing this on 120 hertz refresh rate, but my capture card can only capture 60 frames per second. And uh, if you never played Mafia 2, or if you did play Mafia 2, and you had PlayStation 3 version or Xbox 360 version, uh, you really didn't experience this game to its fullest. I'm gonna drive you a little bit to some parts of the town just to show you uh, how beautiful this game really looks. Let's go for example right over here. Let me take this car uh, and just drive it right over here because I want you guys to see just how beautiful this looks. I'm gonna park the car right over here. I'm gonna exit the car. I mean look at that scenery. Look at the water. Look at the grass. The shadows. All that stuff just comes more to life. It's almost as if you were playing a brand new experience. And this is what I was talking about yesterday. And the main reason why I did the live stream for nine and a half hours in 4K for you guys was for this reason because I wanted you to see just how beautiful this game looks. And here's a good part. You don't have to have a, a super high-end PC. There's a lot of misconception out there on, on, on a lot of things, on everything. A lot of people think that you have to spend $2,000, $3,000 to have some kind of a high-end PC to run 4K. Uh, no, you can have a PC that's about $900, maybe $1,000, close to $1,000, uh, $900. You can have a PC with $900. Plus tax, okay, let's say $1,000 PC. You can have that kind of a PC with AMD, Radeon, RX 580, 8 gigs of RAM, onboard memory. You can have a i5 processor, 7th generation, with uh, 6 cores. And you can still achieve this. You can still enjoy this. So you don't have to necessarily go all out and just, you know, buy a $2,000, $3,000 PC. The reason I have a high-end PC, it's so I can render this in 4K60 for YouTube so you guys can see it on the YouTube. Because it takes a lot of horsepower to record something like this, to have me on that picture, uh, the green screen, and then to have this recorded in 4K60, all of that takes a lot of computing power uh, to be processed for you guys to see but you don't necessarily have to spend uh, like two thousand three thousand uh, dollars you can spend like I said nine hundred sixty for nine hundred sixty dollars you can have 4k 60 with medium settings you can play all your games in 4k 60 with medium settings uh, AMD Radeon RX will easily do that. Uh, 8 gigs of uh, memory RAM, like a hyper memory RAM, uh, with, with a really fast memory RAM bus speed. I would suggest 16, but 8, it's okay. Depending what, what type of memory RAM. You know, some people have 16 gigs of DDDR4 RAM, but it's not a really fast memory bus RAM. So you have to see what kind of memory bus RAM you got. So you have to look at those things as well. But all of that can be uh, achievable uh, within uh, for one thousand dollars. So you don't have to spend two thousand, three thousand dollars for one thousand dollars for for nine hundred sixty dollars PC. You could actually uh, enjoy something like this. Uh, so. Actually, what you're looking at right now, it's not even from my RTX 2080. Uh, I'm using my RTX 2080, my Alienware uh, spaceship beast that I have. I'm using it to record this, but
but the source and the graphics card that I'm using for this it's coming guess from where AMD Radeon RX 580 Ryzen 5 8 gigs of RAM that's it that's all I'm using so PC gaming, you know, it doesn't have to be expensive, you know, uh, there's a lot of gimmicky shit out there, you know, uh, listen, the, the graphics card manufacturers, GPU manufacturers are always going to tell you buy the latest and the best because they, they're in business of making money. They want you to buy their graphics cards. That's what they're in business. They're in business to sell you stuff. All right. So yes, they're going to tell you to buy their graphics cards, but do you really have to buy it? No, you don't have to buy it. If you go to Jay-Z Two Cents and if you see his benchmarks and what he can do with some of these graphics cards, these uh, mid-range, low-end graphics cards, you'd be surprised the kind of benchmark he can get with the Ryzen 5 and then RX 580. Uh, you'd be pretty surprised with what you can achieve with 1440p uh, resolution with high settings. So uh, gaming on a PC, it's not that expensive. It's not that super expensive, you know. And you know, and I think all of this came from all these PC elitists, you know, these guys that 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 spent their entire savings, everything on building a like overkill overkill PC that they don't even have any use for it right now at the moment okay and it's coming from these PC elitists but if you're a regular Joe a regular Mary dude you don't have to spend arm and leg to have a good running uh, PC you know I have three of them and I didn't spend three grand on it there was only one that I specifically spent two grand on it and that was on a saving that's the one that I wanted to have so I can do all of this so I can do 4k 60 so I can show you the 4k 60 but you don't necessarily have to go all out and spend like some crazy money to to have like a insane uh, fidelity you can have some of that fidelity without spending three thousand dollars I guarantee you I'll put it this way I'll put it this way and I and hopefully someone will make a video and do a benchmark I guarantee you with RTX now forget RTX how about this with GTX 1070 16 gigs of RAM seventh generation i5 processor you can do 4k 60 medium settings 4k 60 medium settings on all of these games i guarantee you you can do that you don't have to spend uh two thousand dollars you can have something like that for like uh, 1200 or if you buy it cheaper uh, if you built it yourself find the parts cheaper uh, buy the components cheaper then you can probably do it for, for like 900 depending on how you do it guys uh, so PC gaming it can be expensive depending on what you're looking for uh, obviously what are you looking for some people they want to have you know uh, 4k 60 with everything maxed out then for that you're gonna need to you know go a little bit higher but honestly, if you're just a casual gamer and you want to have like a decent gaming experience, even at 4K, you can still achieve that. But majority of people that I know, majority of people that I uh, have met who are uh, PC gamers, majority of them are gaming on 1440p uh, 240 hertz monitors or 1080p 240 hertz monitors. No one is really gaming. Uh, 4k like 4k 60 you're not gonna see that many people gaming 4k 60 
uh, that much. Sure, there's individuals out there who do it, but you're really not gonna have that many people gaming with 4K60. Majority of them, they have either Alienware, 25 inch, 240 hertz monitors, or 144 hertz MSI monitors, or Acer, or uh, what's the other one that they have? God, I keep forgetting these names. Uh, anyway, there's so many of them. I mean, there's so many brands out there uh, from 120 hertz to 144 hertz. Uh, Asus, Republic of Gamers, 144 hertz, 240 hertz. Acer, MSI, uh, Alienware. So they're all out there, you know. Now here I am. I'm, I'm a good example. Here I am with an AMD Radeon, AMD Radeon RX 580, and I'm able to achieve uh, 4K. 4K60. I was able to achieve 4K60. Right here. So what does that tell you? If I can achieve 4K60 on AMD Radeon RX 580 with only 8 gigs of RAM and uh, Ryzen, Ryzen 5 processor Ryzen 5 processor so what makes you think uh, that you can't do that with computer that's eight hundred, nine hundred dollars? And this is all set to the high settings. Now, yes, this is an older game. I'm not saying that it's not old. Sure, yes, it's an older game, but still, I can achieve. I can achieve much better. Uh, performance than let's say a console can and another thing uh, let's talk about the console since I just mentioned the consoles guys I don't like to compare consoles to PCs because comparing a console to PC uh, it's like comparing um, Chevy Nova to Bugatti and I know maybe this is not the best analogy but the reason I'm using this analogy is because PCs are personal computers first. They're on a different level. Consoles are consoles. Uh, PCs are built for a desk, for a workstation. They are personal computers. Okay, PCs are not built for you to be using it with your TV. That's where the consoles are for. Consoles are meant for your home theater, for, for your TVs. That's where you plug in your console to your TV. Uh, this is why they make monitors. This is why they make these 244 hertz, uh, 144 hertz monitors that you can connect to your PC. They're specifically designed with a one millisecond response time, 240 hertz refresh rate for that reason with a G-Sync or FreeSync, uh, depending on which graphics card you have, uh, you know, green or red. But I don't like to compare consoles to PC because they're two different things. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just felt like talking about this a little bit because, um, as always, there's misconceptions out there. There's always uh, individuals writing some stuff uh, that's not entirely true. Now, PCs are not for everyone. Some PCs, uh, some people are buying PC for different purposes. There's uh, personal computers are for all different types of purposes. Uh, some people are using it for gaming. Some people are using it for video editing. Some people are using it for music production. Some people are using it for uh, video production, photo editing, music editing, music uh, production, which I already have mentioned. So people are using PCs, personal computers, for different purposes. All right. So that's why I don't like to compare consoles to a PCs. And here I, I mean, look at this. This looks beautiful. 
So if you haven't played, or if you haven't picked up Mafia yet, Mafia 2, I highly suggest that you pick this game up on a, on a PC. PC version is the best way for you to play this game. Same goes for Grand Theft Auto 4. A PC version is the best version for you to play it on. Just make sure you have your Xbox Live account because you will not be able to play uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 without the Xbox Live account. So there you have it. Uh, I know I promised you guys that I was going to do the live stream part 2 of this, but I was busy doing some other stuff during the day. But I felt like maybe I should talk about this a little bit and, and give you my thoughts on it and the PC. Um, so I, I want to end this video by saying one thing. There, there's a purpose and reason for everything. You know, a lot of you have been asking me, hey man, should I, can I use my TV with a PC? Well, yes you can. Sure, you can plug it into your TV. But you have to remember that the personal computers, the PCs, are not designed for you to use it with a television. They're designed for you to use it with a monitors. This is why the monitors exist. This is why we have the monitors. Because if you connect your PC to a TV, it's going to be a bottleneck. The performance is not going to be there. You know, when, when that page is loading, it's not going to load really fast. So you're going to have a little bit of a bottleneck. This is why you need to have PC connected to your monitor and your console connected to your television because consoles are designed in mind with televisions. All right. So I think this is common sense. I mean, anybody, anybody who knows anything about this will know this. Okay. But you don't have to spend $3,000 to, to enjoy uh, PC gaming, even in 4K, but majority will be playing 1440p. But here I am, a living proof that I'm playing in 4K60 with a Radeon 580RX. And you can get Radeon uh, 580, uh, RX, RX 580X, you can get it for like 250 right now if you want to. All right, guys, well, there you have it, but let me know what you think. I would like to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, I know people will have a difference of opinion on this, but I want to hear what you guys have to say and how do you guys feel about this whole PC thing, uh, PC elitist thing. And uh, I'm glad that I'm making this video because you don't have to be a PC elitist in order for you to enjoy PC gaming. You know, there's a lot of BS out there. Uh, people like to spread a lot of BS. and That's not entirely true. All right, guys, I'm just here to, to put a little pinch of truth out there and some facts, some factual information, right? All right, guys, love you all. Be good. I'll see you soon. Take care. Uh, everybody's been asking me, am I okay? Am I doing good? Guys, I'm doing good. It's just that I, you know, uh, I have this face of, I have this serious face. You know, it is a serious, serious face, but that doesn't mean that I'm not okay. It's just, this is the kind of face I have. All right, guys, you have a good one. Take care. I'll see you soon.